discovered one way to beat the high cost, that's by generating his own electricity. With a little bit of help from Mother Nature, here's NTV's Don Bradshaw with that story. There's a strange object towering above the tree line near Black Duck Siding on the province's west coast. This windmill is the latest addition to Gordon LaRue's home. No, Mr. LaRue is no amateur meteorologist interested in wind speeds and direction. He's using the device to provide electricity to his home. Mr. LaRue is one of the only private homeowners in this province using wind power to service his house. He installed the new device two weeks ago and says since then it's been smooth sailing. No difference whatsoever. We run the, the washer, the dryer. I have, uh, a, you know, part electric stove and gas. And uh, there's no difference. You know, lights are on, you don't see no, no flickering in them or nothing. Just, it's just power, same as if I got it from the grid. The windmill's turbine harnesses the power of the wind and stores electricity in a bank of batteries located in the LaRue's backyard shed. When the windmill is spinning, power to the home is drawn directly from the tower. On those rare occasions in western Newfoundland when there's no breeze, the battery banks kick in, sending its own stored energy to use in the home. Jerry Skinner, St. Phillips-based company, Labrador Coastal Equipment, installs the wind towers throughout the province. It costs about $50,000 to outfit an average-sized two-bedroom home with the windmill. But he believes as the cost of fossil fuel-based power rises, more people will consider adding the price of a windmill to the cost of building a new home. Uh, eventually, uh, it will be happening more so. As time go on, goes on, you know, people will uh, see it happening in other places. And of course, it's, it's difficult for someone to make a decision of some at this very expensive uh, venture. Uh, but it's a lifetime of electricity you're, you're purchasing. As the world becomes more environmentally conscious, Mr. Skinner believes the day will come when provincial and federal governments help subsidize the cost of wind power to homes and businesses, thereby helping reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Gordon LaRue hasn't thought too much about the environmental benefits of his windmill. He says he's still trying to come to terms with having free electricity for the rest of his life. <laughs> I, you know, I, uh, I do... Uh... A couple of times I go around, turn the fuel lights off, and I said, why? You know, I have the television on, and sometimes the washer is going, the radio is going, you know, and all the lights, mostly all the lights are on. So I don't, uh, there's no, no difference whatsoever. In Black Duck Siding near Stephenville, Don Bradshaw, NTV News.